<laughs> Janet. Yeah. Tell me the acronym we learned yesterday. Where are you going after this math class? Oh. You're net. And you net tell us the quadrant numbers. Thank you. Tatiana. When it says tangent of theta is less than zero, what does that mean, less than zero? Negative. Tatiana, where is tangent positive? So I'm going to put an X here because that's where it's positive and we're looking for what class? Negative. So Tatiana, negative will be in which two quadrants? So the acronym, if you weren't here yesterday, the acronym, all students take calculus, tells us where they are positive. Sine is positive here. And it's reciprocal. What's its reciprocal class? Cosecant. That means all the other four trig functions are negative, including tangent. Thank you, Tatiana. Delia, what does cosine greater than zero mean? It's positive. Where is cosine positive? Remember, we're looking for positive. Quadrant 4 and quadrant 1, because they're all positive and just cosine. And class, where are they both? Where is cosine both positive and tangent negative? The answer is quadrant 4. Raise your hand if you got that. So you don't have to draw up this visual. That just helps me. Let's try the second one. Okay. What does this one tell us? <coughs> Where is cosine negative? <coughs> Correct. <coughs> Correct. Remember, if you're getting stuck on these, a good way of thinking about it is where is sine positive? That's these two, but we're not looking for positive, so I'm going to put x's here. Not here. X's means no. Okay, yes. Where is cosine less than zero? Correct. So, Kaylee asks, where is sine negative and cosine negative? Quadrant three is our answer. Raise your hand if you got that.